everybody, welcome back to our channel. Guys, today Clay and I are at the Natural Disaster Expo up in Salt Lake City. I'm super excited about this because I'm super excited about this because this is where all of the vendors from Utah and across the country come together, bring all of their great ideas, maybe things that we haven't thought about having on hand because you just never know when you're gonna need to be prepared and we definitely wanna have everything we need on hand before anything crazy happens, like a natural disaster or just anything. So we're gonna run here and check out this expo. I'm actually very excited about this. Yeah, we uh, we only have a couple hours until they close. I actually had to work today. So, but this place is crazy busy, busier than the boat show. Yeah. And they got cars just parked in random spots on the grass because there's not enough parking. It's uh, crazy. So it's busier than I thought it was going to be. I had a thought this morning when I was getting ready to come up here. Is this what it looks like to get old when you're excited to come to a natural <laughs> disaster expo? Is that what that means? Well, I mean, <laughs> even like at the boat show, they just have like random things like don't even pertain to boating, but it's are true. cool, right? Like, yeah. you know, different booths that sell whatever, yep. but uh, just things you don't see every day. You need like a, an army backpack. Huh. You break it, you buy it. These would be like 72 hour kits, therefore. They have like these detachable things so you can like fill them with. Oh, really? And they just come off? Yeah. How do they come off there? Buckled on. I don't really know. Those things just like slip down in there? They have buckles on them that they, these removable pouches and stuff. It's a cool idea. They're heavy. We just tried some freeze dried food from Thrive Live. And Terry, I want to know what your thoughts are. It's actually really good. I've looked into this company a couple different times, and the first time I looked into it, they had nothing on the website that was available, completely sold out. I've heard a ton of good things about it that their food is by far the best when it comes to this kind of stuff, but they also are more expensive. So it's kind of one of those things where you get what you pay for. We have a quite a bit of free dried food at home. We haven't tried any of it, so it's kind of nice to get to try some of it and actually see how it tastes. It's definitely a company I'm probably gonna look into a little bit more. They have like a monthly subscription where you can get stuff shipped right to your front door and you slowly build your food storage that way. So check into it a little bit more. Guys, we found what Terry was actually looking for, some Harry Potter wands. There you go, do you know how to use it? Bippity boppity boop. I don't think that's Harry Potter. <laughs> Apparently not. No, I think that's Harry Potter. They're only 10 bucks though. That's Harry himself. There you go. Cane swords, $30. Open one up, let's take a look at it. It's a cane. It's a sword, I think he like pulls apart. It says it's a cane sword, it should slide out. The handle, I would assume. No sword in there? Cane swords, you just 30 hit bucks. People with them, I, guess. I don't get it. I thought there'd be like a small sword inside because these swords are 50 bucks, the bigger ones. We just uh, stopped by this booth. It's called Fire Fiber, and uh, this gentleman here is going to kind of show us how this works. It's an emergency fire starter putty. So you can take a piece, and it comes in cans like this. But you can take a piece of putty, and even in bad weather, even if it gets completely wet, it's a wax based putty that has fibers all the way through it. So all of those fibers are actually little wicks. Really? So the more fibers you expose, the faster this will ignite. So in the rain, normally it's very hard to light, like with Quentin Steel or with corrosion rod. As long as I hit any one of those fibers with a spark, that'll ignite. Wow. You can actually hear it crack of the water. For emergency situations, that little piece right there will actually burn. That's probably about five, six minutes flame. So the more you use, the longer it lasts. So like, but even for snowmobiling, like I have friends that carry these cans on their sled. So if they get caught in the snow by themselves and they can't get to wood, you can light the whole can on fire. One can will burn for an hour and a half, like a brand new can. Wow. And then I think the most impressive part is actually it's reusable. So even the ash after the hour and a half, you can actually take the ash and remold it and reuse it. Interesting. So, so how much for one can? So the, we're doing a special because we have two different types. It's two for 25, basically. Okay. So the one, the only ones I do have left are the glow in the dark cans. So these literally do glow in the dark. So you can take a flashlight, with a tiny outfit, even that 
that shows that you can relight it. So what's the, like, why? Why glow in the dark? Yeah. So we have a lot of backpackers that only use, like, fluorescent rods or fluorescent steel. So they can charge it with a flashlight first, and then they can see the putty. Meaning they had, once, like, if I put a putty, piece of putty down and it's glowing, I can actually see where I'm aiming with the fluorescent steel. But it does, it does actually glow in the dark. Huh. That's pretty cool. You better get famous out of this. <laughs> what are these bullets right here? So these are bullet lighters. They're little capsule lighters, like keychain lighters. So the refillable, you can put lighter fluid in the bottom. Oh, uh, really? In the top. Oh, wow. light it. That's cool. We're just finishing up here at this um, expo and what we learned is there's a lot of stuff that you can have on hand and that you probably should have on hand for all sorts of emergencies. I mean, there was some crazy stuff in there. Definitely a lot of stuff that we're thinking about purchasing to have on hand and the gas masks. The gas masks were crazy. Yes, the gas masks were very, that's something I've thought a lot about just to have on hand. You know, you never know. And there's a lot to it. There's actually a lot of education that goes into that. I had no idea some of the stuff that guy was talking about, how you can't touch the suit after, you know, it's been contaminated and all that kind of stuff. So definitely a learning curve with that, but it would be awesome. I don't know if we showed it or not, but they have this one that's got like, uh, it's for little kids. And it's it's not like it's just a mask goes on tight here. It's almost like an astronaut style helmet. Yeah. And then it's got like a tube that you can hook to a water bottle. And so you can still get hydrated without having to take your mask off, which I thought was smart. Very smart. So that's definitely probably the number one thing on our list from this expo is the gas mask and the hazmat suits. Guys, we are just getting home from the preparedness expo. And uh, as we were leaving, there was a little boy that said, hey, do you want to try some of our honey? And uh, so we're like, yeah, sure. So we walked over there, gave it a whirl, and uh, it was really good. It is called Papa Bear's Honey. And uh, they had a bunch of different flavors. I can't name them all. There was peach. And uh, what else was there, Tara? Do you remember? It was like a flower one. He was saying that they like kind of infuse them with clover. Clover and like, what else? I don't remember what else they use to like flavor them, but all natural stuff. And they have all these hives at their house. They make, they had tons and tons of honey there. They had a five gallon bucket of honey that was like $500. <laughs> so it was like 300 bucks. It was still crazy expensive. It was expensive, yeah. So this one is we just decided cinnamon. to go with cinnamon and lemon. Lemon. And the guys, I don't super love honey like at all, but this one's pretty good. The honey's good for you, right? It is good for you, yes, but I just don't. Like it. I think it's good. So we're gonna let the girls try it. Uh, cinnamon. You want cinnamon. I want you to try the honey one as well. The cinnamon one, though is fabulous. It's lemon, not honey. You said I want to try the honey one. <laughs> I mean, I want you to try the lemon one, the <laughs> lemon honey. All right. I, I'll try both. Okay. Let's go with the cinnamon one first. I only want a little bit. It's good. Let's get some on a spoon for Claire. I know she wants to try some. Okay. She's patiently waiting over here. Give the girl some honey. Just a little. That's enough. A little bit goes a long way. So they, I didn't try this one at the little. You didn't try it? Uh, get yourself a spoon. Tastes like a cinnamon bear? Ooh, that was good. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I can't really taste it because I brushed my teeth. <laughs> you, you brushed oh. already. So it's on me. I put the whole thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You can definitely smell yeah, it. I can taste it now. Now for lemon. Sounds good. It's really good. Make some cinnamon butter with that one. Cinnamon butter, put it on some scones. Yeah. Yum. Let's try a lemon. You won't know. <laughs> oh, I can definitely smell it. Can you? It's a very strong smell. Ooh, that smells good. What do you think of the lemon? You like it? Mmm, that lemon one's good. Yeah, I mean, these guys make some great honey. We've actually bought honey, like the little flavor honey sticks from another place that makes their own honey. And I wasn't a fan. They didn't have hardly any flavor. They still tasted just like pure mm. honey to me, but my kids like it. But these have way more flavor than the honey I sticks. We've I had like before. the honey sticks. They just have a lot of flavor though. Like Enough these, for me. Like this has like That's legit the thing cinnamon flavor. That was so That's what good. I like about honey. Like it's not super strong, like most sugary things because it's you know natural, but. I don't like the taste of honey. So it needs to be disguised with a little <laughs> bit of lemon. All right. I got more because it was good. That's so good. Like the lemon clay? Not so much. A little less flavor in that one. You don't like it? Alright, so I'm not sure if Papa Bear's Honey sells online, but if they do, you guys should check those out. Very good. We are moving on. We stopped at another booth called what? My, My Medic. Medic. My Medic. Tell us about My Medic, Terry. So it's a company that makes like first aid kits and they have a million different options to choose from. We've been looking at getting some 
good kits, with some to put in the 72 hour kits, some to carry like in our cars. Right here they have a boat medic. Yeah. So they have one for, you know. So they've done a ton of research about accidents that could come up from boating. You know, there's the solo, if you're a cyclist, if like to ride a bike. I think there's a bunch more on the back as well. Yeah, so they, or they have these little individual ones. Like if you have a need, you know, that like CPR is something you feel like, like that you can buy individual ones that help with more specific things. Or you can buy just this big one that has the basic, which has like everything in it that like a normal first aid kit would come with. Or the more advanced one has stuff in it. Like he was showing us, it has a thing in there that you can put down. So if you come across somebody that is not breathing, unconscious, you could put this tube down there, through their nose, down their throat, and it like opens their airway for them. It also had like a tourniquet in it. It had like stuff to help like, like clot bleeding and stuff like that. And But they also offer like videos on how to use everything that's in your first aid kit. So whatever you buy, they have videos that teach you how to use everything, which I feel like is very important because first aid kit is pretty much useless if you don't know how to use the stuff that's in it. That is very true. So, and this is definitely a company that we are very, very impressed with looking into. I'm hoping that they will give us like a coupon code or something that we can pass along to you guys because this is something that everybody should have on hand. And we haven't talked to anybody about, you know, giving any deals or doing any coupon codes. We just think that this company has got it together. They've done it really we, well. Yeah, we'd love give to you, work with them. Give you all the options. And I think this is something Austin would like to have like in his car, because you know, he likes to think that he can rescue everyone. <laughs> he took EMR, so he's... <laughs> He knows, but yes, this is awesome information. We also stopped by this other booth that we showed. Oh, oh yeah. The fire starter, awesome. This stuff is so cool. The yeah. fact that he like took this, put it in water, and then still was able to like get it to start on fire. That's incredible. Incredible. We should have bought more. Like we should have had like six bags, one for everybody. Yeah, we got there kind of late, so we kind of had to just rush through and see what, what was there. But uh, I'll definitely, I'll put this company down in our bio, or in the, the bio, so you guys can check those guys out too. They have cool stuff. Guys, it was great to go see what emergency preparedness companies are local here in Utah. And the only one that we knew was actually Thrive. They're right off the freeway close to kind of by where we live, so we see them quite often. But uh, haven't seen any of those other companies, and uh, there's some neat stuff out there. The gas mask thing, like, it'd be cool to kind of have. I mean, I who knows if that's a possibility. I guess it's always a possibility, but it's kind of crazy to look at them, right? You're kind of like, ah. <laughs> just seems Weird a little creepy. to imagine your kids walking around in these, like, bubbles around their head that are protecting yeah. them, but. Yeah. Let's hope that doesn't if ever If you needed happen. them, it would be. Sure. It'd be worth the weight in gold or you know more. I mean, it'd just be crazy. But I don't know if we're gonna do those or not. So we're gonna talk about it. The one is very expensive. The full like astronaut mask for kids is $500 a piece, which still would be worth it if you needed it. Uh, but they're a lot of money. So a lot of stuff, it is a lot of money to try to get prepared. And we know it's crazy. So we encourage you guys to at least have, you know, the basic things, you know, a little bit of food, a little bit of water, you know, some flashlights, just kind of the necessities to kind of get by. I'm sure most of you guys do, but if you haven't, maybe look into that. Guys, we appreciate hanging out with us. We love you. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.